Hi guys, RJ911. So in today's video, I'll be changing the chain case oil in a 600 E-Tech. It'll be the same procedure for an 800 E-Tech. So first things first, you're gonna want your uh, XPS snowmobile synthetic chain case oil. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench socket. And then you have to take your battery off, your exhaust, and you have seven bolts. So let's get started. Also, you're gonna need an oil pan. You're gonna need an 11 16 wrench for your uh, O2 sensor on your exhaust, a spring puller, a flathead screwdriver to take the plastic cap off of the chain case cover, and you're gonna need a 5 16 uh, wrench as well to see um, to take your, your filler cap off or your chain case cover. All right, so let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is gonna take my exhaust off. All right, so once you've got this exhaust taken off, next step is to remove your, your battery. Because what we're gonna wanna do is inspect the chain case itself, the chain, make sure there's no metal fairings in there. If so, something's wrong. All right, so I'll remove the battery next. So safely secure your battery. Make sure not to put it on cement. Try to put it on cardboard or other than the ground. Next step you're gonna to wanna to do is take your plastic cap off. Once you have that done, you can see inside. This is where you're gonna fill up your oil afterwards. Now you can loosen your seven bolts. So once you have uh, all the bolts taken off, make sure to take your uh, chain case sensor off. You wouldn't want to rip that off. So I have to take this uh, battery casing off as well if I want to inspect it. It's nothing too hard. There should be, there's three bolts to take off. So now I've got the battery casing off, there's three bolts, now you can inspect your chain case inside and out. Just have to pull this out. There you have it. You have your chain, your chain tightener. Chain looks fine, well lubricated. There you go. So now you can put it back on and we'll fill it up full of oil. You can go back on the trails. All right, so now that I tighten all my bolts, there's the filler cap or the overflow cap, you would call it. Because once you fill in your oil from here, it's gonna sit, seep down. And once it starts running out of here, that means it's full. Do not put any more than this. Right here. I take it off. There's a little magnet on the end as well. If ever there be any metal. As you can see, there's there's a bit. As usual, it's just the wear and tear. All right, so next step we're gonna wanna do, you don't reinstall this right away. Put your oil first, use a funnel, 
or if you don't have a funnel just try to use the bottle you might want to tilt the machine a bit so you should take all of the bottle it's a BRP it comes it's a 355 milliliters and there you see it's running out of the side right there as you can see it means it's full we'll put the fill, uh, the cap back on and that's it you put your plastic cap back on all right so you can reinstall your cap right, guys so you I've reinstalled everything filled up the oil you're good to go just put your battery um, casing back on your battery your sensor don't forget that your exhaust and you're ready to go sledding in the trails so please like and subscribe and stay tuned for our other videos thanks guys